Someone's beat me to it. It is Admiral Rolf, isn't it? Yes. Tom Howard? Of course. I'm sorry. I was miles away. I didn't recognize you at first. It's been some time. How long is it since you left Tarrant? Nearly five years. I heard you were back. Helping to run the yard, I gather. For my sins. Do you come here often? As a child. And then I used to a lot after my mother died. It's a good spot for... Thinking. Yes. As long as some oaf doesn't barge in on you. What are you doing here anyway? Why aren't you out celebrating? I heard you won the Commodore's Cup today. Won the Cup? Lost my job. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take it out on you two. It's okay. It's Southern Aviation I should be lashing out at. It's all right. He'll find something else. I know he will. Well, you better, Leo. The compensation won't last forever, you know. I'm damned if I'm going to start scrimping and saving all over again. I had enough of that when we were first married. Mum? I suppose Ken Masters might give me some extra work. <laughs> Mum, I've been thinking. Supposing I look for a job. What, for the holes, you mean? No, instead of going to university. Oh, darling, don't be so ridiculous. Well, at least I'll be contributing something, and anyway... Three years sweating away to get into extra university. <laughs> yes, It wasn't but... easy for you, but you did it in the end. I did it for all the wrong reasons. Because you and Dad wanted me to. Because my friends were going. Because of the school's precious statistics. I don't want to go to university, Mum. I never did. Twenty years you've been with them. Twenty-two, to be exact. God, how appalling. After all that time. Yes. You sell your soul, and this is the return you get. Well, the truth is, I should have got out long since. I wanted to quite early on. Why didn't you? Well, you know how it is. Get on the promotion ladder. Mm. The commitments. Family pressures. You rationalize. Tell yourself it's security, if nothing else. Some security. Out on your backside at 44. So what would you have done if you had got out? Oh, I always fancied setting up on my own. Doing what? Oh, I don't know, something quite different, perhaps. I like the idea of being my own boss, developing my own ideas without a load of civil servants breathing down my neck. I always envied people like your father, master of his own kingdom. <laughs> you were well out of that. Well, at least he's still in business. So what will you do? One thing's certain. I'm not going back into a rat race to be kicked in the teeth again in five years' time. Whatever I do from now is going to be on my terms. Yes? K Ken Masters? Speaking. Oh, hello. It's Jan Howard here. Oh, hi there. Ken, you're sounding a bit muffled. Yes, I, uh, I wonder why. Must be a little bit of interference. Hang on, I'll uh, just give the receiver a bang. Oh! <laughs> Is that uh, better? Yes, that's fine. Oh. Look, sorry to trouble you at home. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Well, nothing that won't keep. Uh, what's the problem? Well, I was wondering if I could drop into the office tomorrow. I know it's not one of my mornings, but there's something I'd like to talk over with you. What's that? Well, would you mind if it waited? No. No, of course not. See you then in the sort of morning. But what about um, coffee time? Yes, that would be fine. Thanks. Bye for now. Bye. Who's that? Jan Howard. Does part time for me. Don't we all? I hope she's not about to give her notice. She only does two mornings a week, doesn't she? I still wouldn't want to lose her. What's she like? Hmm. This Jan Howard is so indispensable to you. Oh, she's just an ordinary housewife. Oh, no competition for me, then. You're not in the same league.
So you intend to stay in town? If humanly possible. Our roots are here. Mm, that's how I feel about it. Is that where you came back? <laughs> Partly. Tell me about London. Had enough of my problems. Oh, I'd really rather forget it. Yes, not everybody's seen. Mm. Not mine. When I think of those poor devils commuting every day. My God. I'm not going to end up like that. Sorry. Back to me again. I don't mind. It's funny, isn't it? It's taken me a month to tell my family. And here I am, bearing my soul to you. Sometimes it's easier to talk to strangers. Yes. I suppose so. The other day I was chatting to some woman on the jetty. Just a tripper. I told her things I wouldn't dream of telling my father. Well, thanks for being my woman on the jetty. Want one? What? Sleeping pill. Oh, no. I'll stick to counting sheep. All those nights you must have lain awake while I... You don't have to feel guilty. I don't. I feel... I don't know. Diminished. Oh, Jan, don't be silly. Well, why does everyone think I need protecting? Even Leo. Do you know how he felt about Exeter? No, I suppose I should. Maybe if I'd been around a bit more. It's not as if he knows what he wants to do. Something useful, he said. Knowing Leo, that's probably doling out soup to the homeless. One of the worst ways of going through life. It's not what I pushed him through school for. Well, maybe he should have been allowed to jog along at his own pace. You say that now. You didn't at the time. You think you're doing the best? Well, of course it's the best. What sort of job would he get with our degree? Mine hasn't done me much good, has it? It's got you where you are. Where I was? We must know someone who can pull the strings. What do we know, Tom? There is an alternative. To what? Scraping around for another job in the aircraft industry. Do you mean another sort of design job? Yes. Get out of the rat race altogether. Take my handshake and have a go at something on my own. You're not serious. A small business of some sort. But you know nothing about business. I ran my own department. Under the corporate umbrella, it's hardly the same thing. Think of the risk, Tom. The last thing we can afford to do is to throw that money down the drain. Maybe it's time I took a few risks. Look where playing safe has got me. <laughs> 